So for some reason, I felt that it was time to start transitioning my wardrobe, and it's definitely not time to do that. However, I really felt like I needed a boost as far as colors went when it came to my wardrobe because I've shared that I embraced the 10 item wardrobe over the fall and winter season and that really worked out well for that time and really I have to say that um, I did not even wear I felt on a consistent basis 10 items I really narrowed my wardrobe down to very few items I wore my coat most of the time and I talked about that in a recent video but now I just feel like okay some of these colors are I'm done with them I just I need a boost to my mood and one of the ways that I do that is through color so I started bringing out some of the lighter kinder colors and you know those are just little ways that you can add some gentleness to your life and that's what I feel I can do in this time. I wanted to talk about how there are times that we don't want to dress up, right? And there are times that we just don't feel like we fit well into some of our items and especially for women that's to be expected throughout the month and I started thinking about how I really tried to hone in on my style and wear a certain cut most of the time, but at certain times, it's just, it it's a little bit more uncomfortable to wear those kinds of dresses. So I started incorporating more dresses that would offer me some grace when I start to feel bloated or when I just start to feel like I don't want anything to be constricting. I just want some space. So I recently um, visited Ross and found a few things that I know with some of the brands that I've ar already used before that they worked out well for me. Now I had to go back and forth a couple of times because I don't really use their dressing rooms there and I'll just go home, try it on if I don't like it. If it's something that I can pass to one of my daughters, I will if it fits them properly and if they like it. Otherwise, I will just return it or exchange it for something else. So I found a few things recently that I really love. And one of the great things about finding items from Ross is that you can search up that brand and then go on Poshmark, go on Macari, somewhere like that, search the brand and you can find other dresses in that color that you really like. And that's something that I've been looking into recently because it kind of saves me from having to go from Ross to Ross to Ross, although I will do that from time to time. And especially right now, as we're going into spring, we're not there yet, but we're getting close. Um, then it's a great time to go and just check out all of their dresses. So if you are really trying to add more dresses to your wardrobe, I would really recommend if you wanted to find something maybe more on a budget, go check out Ross. You can try different styles out and just see what fits you. When you find something you love, definitely start searching what you can find secondhand maybe, and you can save more money that way. I mean, Ross, their dresses are usually pretty well priced. You end up spending a lot in um, shipping if you go through Poshmark, but if you want to find a certain size or a different color in a certain cut of a dress, that is definitely the way to go. I have found some colors now that I have on my likes list that I would love to add to my wardrobe that has been really hard for me to find. I've been looking for mauves, I've been looking for more just pinks that complement my skin tone because the pinks that I have in my wardrobe right now I don't feel really complement me well but I'm, I'm on the hunt. So that's something that I love to keep an eye out for, but also never settle because, um, you know, there are just some colors that will really make you look sick or just 
wash you out. And so when you notice that, maybe sell it, maybe donate it, and then just don't do that again, right? Don't order that or don't buy that color again. And no matter how cute the cut is, just don't do it. Because I did that recently and I ended up exchanging it because I knew, I knew that I would not reach for that dress. So today I have an, a beautiful article to share with you, which is by Sandy Lindsay. And um, I really love the articles that she writes and she wrote one on dress code 101. And I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you, but I was going through my wardrobe. I, I love to reorganize things around this time, even though I'm still having to wear a coat and whatnot. I have been on the hunt for a coat, like a trench coat that is much more neutral than the colors that I have because I want to be able to pair it with the colorful wardrobe that I love to incorporate around this time. The light colors that I am drawn to at, you know, during springtime or even just before spring, I like to bring in all of those beautiful, airy, uh, very soft, subtle, and gentle colors. So I found a trench coat at Old Navy the other day and I thought that it would look really good with some of the dresses that I have and it was it was midi length which was really nice but then I saw the price I couldn't believe how much they were charging for it I think it was like close to $90 for it and I don't know it was just such a cheap material it didn't have a lining on it so I passed it up but it was the right color I felt for my skin tone um, so it just made me realize I need to look for more of a cream tan color than the the usual taupe colors that trench coats come in. Back to the 10 item wardrobe. When it comes to spring and summer, I definitely don't go with a 10 item wardrobe. I, I love to have a variety of dresses and that's the time that I feel the dress, you can showcase the dress is in the spring and summer. So I always look forward to that and you know me, I'm all about the dresses. So um, this is one of the dresses that I found at Ross and I like how it's more of an empire waist I would say. Um, it doesn't even get really tight around here but what I like about it is that I just have those days where I'm around the house. I wouldn't necessarily wear this out, especially right now because it is um, really cold outside and um, the length and everything, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just particular about what shoes you wear with what length of dress and this is not one of those dresses or that I would pair with one of my coats. So, however, when I am home, I do like to have just some dresses that I can walk around in. I almost feel like they are like nightgowns, but it's a dress, so I don't have to worry about, you know, oh, I'm wearing my pajamas, which is something that we talk about in that article. But I would love to know if this is something that you are trying to incorporate into your everyday life more, just more beautiful dresses. And I don't think that you should have to sacrifice, you know, the beauty that you, whatever you think to be beautiful when you are at home. Definitely wear something that's presentable and that you feel beautiful in, even in those times where maybe you're not feeling so great. Have an array of dresses or whatever clothing you like to wear around that time that just makes you feel good. So I feel like I have these whimsical dresses that I love to wear when I'm just around the house, I'm doing um, desk work, I am doing laundry, just housework. Um, not the, when I'm doing major housework, I do like to wear more of a midi dress just because then I don't have to worry about um, stepping on it or anything. But um, anyway, the whimsical dresses, I'm all about those when I'm just feeling like I want some freedom. Dress Codes 101, the right clothing for every situation. Written by Sandy Lindsay. Dressing to go out in public isn't something many people spend too much time thinking about today, and they should. 
It's up to us to set a new standard. Let's bring back dressing with class, dignity, and traditional values. Inspiring others starts the moment you step out the door. Dress well. Unfortunately, it's becoming more common to see people in stores, on the subway, or walking their dogs while dressed in pajamas or something that looks like pajamas. Pajamas are for the breakfast table or curled on the couch to binge watch a TV series. But don't step outside while you're dressed for bed, unless you're just getting the newspaper off the front stoop. Your oldest sweatpants fall into this category too. A good rule of thumb is to choose something you'd be proud to be wearing if you were to bump into your high school crush. No matter how great someone is at their job, they're kidding themselves if they believe that what they wear doesn't matter. It does. A lot. Many offices have relaxed attire dress codes, sometimes casual Friday, sometimes all week. Leave the sports team t-shirts and ripped jeans, no matter how comfy they are, for after hours or weekends. And no yoga outfits. Ever. Unless you work at a gym. If in doubt, pay attention to how your boss or supervisor dresses as long as they aren't fashion challenged. Follow their lead. If not, raise the corporate bar with your attire. We've all been there planting prized roses, laying sod, or painting the front porch. When we realized that one more essential item was needed for the project and had to dash to the store. When covered in mud, paint splashes, or perhaps a bit odiferous, Take a fast, hot shower and climb into a clean t-shirt and shorts or jeans. You'll feel refreshed and recharged, ready to climb back into the trenches when you get home with whatever supplies you need to complete the job. If you're single, keep in mind some home improvement stores are better than a singles bar. It doesn't matter if it's a first date or the 310th date, or if you've been married for years. Make date nights special. You can easily spot what we call first date, last date couples. She is wearing a cocktail dress while he's in old jeans, a rock band t-shirt, and black Crocs with white socks. One fail safe bet is khakis and a button down for him, both of which should be ironed, and a cute summery dress or winter sweater dress for her. Think of something you'd wear to a job interview as this may be the biggest interview of your life. The saying, dress to impress, definitely applies to trips to the opera, the ballet, or any organized event benefiting a charity held at a swanky venue. This is the chance to raid the wardrobe for your favorite outfits. When in doubt, women can never go wrong with a classic black evening or cocktail dress and heels, a strand of pearls around her neck, while men should, at minimum, wear dress slacks, dark gray is always appropriate, with a nice shirt and a blue blazer or tweed sport jacket, or drag out the tuxedo. Women will tell you that there's nothing like a man in a tux. Sandy Lindsay is an award-winning writer who covers home, gardening, DIY projects, pets, and boating. She has two books with McGraw-Hill. This article can be found in the Epic Times, and I will link it in my description box for your convenience. Thank you.
this talk about dress code and I just have to share with you that even yours truly gets caught not wearing what I would normally wear. And I'm always so regretful when it happens that I just wish I would have taken the little bit of time that it would have taken me to finish getting myself ready. So this past weekend, I took a shower. It was a Saturday morning, you know, just trying to rest and relax. And I took a shower. My mom was out front just enjoying the sunshine. She asked me to come out there with her and have a cup of coffee. And so I thought, sure, why not? You know, um, and I went out there in my robe, just having showered, my hair was all wet, at least I brushed it, okay? But then we're out there and who comes around the corner but our friends Brad and Marcella. Hi Marcella, if you're watching. So it just, not that, you know, it's the end of the world or anything if somebody sees me not ready. However, it's just not how I like to present myself and I don't feel 100% comfortable presenting myself to the world that way. So no, I don't want to present myself even to our friends. I kind of feel like it's a sign of respect to get yourself ready to be presentable and to put your best foot forward. So, you know, I'm just having all those feelings, of course. And then I think, was it that morning? It was probably that morning because I had to go pick my mom up. She had spent the night at my aunt's house because she was keeping an eye on my grandfather and um, my sister was borrowing her truck. So anyway, I needed to get her so I went over there really early. I put on a coat at least to go over there, um, but I had my house slippers on, you know, I hadn't even showered yet. It was just, just one of those mornings. And all I could think was that this will be the day. This will be the day that I get pulled over by a police officer. And so, you know, then I'm just going to have to get out of the car like all of these things go through my mind because I'm not prepared and usually that's when something does happen right but thankfully nothing happened however I just had to laugh because I had started to get ready and then I went out front and then our friends just drove by they wanted to see the the way that we had the rock in the front yard uh, Brad was trying to show his wife that um, so anyway it was just one of those situations. So I think that many of us have those kind of encounters just when we really were hoping nobody would see us a certain way. So if you have one of those situations that you would be happy to share with us, I would love to read all about it so that I don't feel so alone. Because yes, even though I share with all of you, that I think that it's very important to, you know, look your best always, to be presentable, to um, just put your best foot forward as often as you can. <laughs> there are times that we all, you know, there are times, there are just times. So anyway, I would like to hear your stories in my comments below. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really hope that this video inspired you in some way. And if you are just longing for spring as much as I am, I am willing spring to get here as quickly as possible because I just want warmer weather and to... I'm, I'm just looking forward to the dresses. That's really all it's about. So anyway, I'm kidding. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye, everyone.